Hello everyone, it's Mama Becha here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga bagong videos. I create video tutorials about online selling, personal development, and other interesting things. So please join me as I share with you my experiences in my side hustles regardless of what stage you are in. Nabitin ka ba sa ating last video? If you're wanting for more information on how to find products to sell online, ang video na ito ay part 2 of our last video titled Methods and Practical Ways of Finding Products to Sell Online. Uh, lalagay ka na lang siguro yung link down here or dito up here. Um, let me remind you though that these methods are applicable again sa Philippine e-commerce only. And I hope that this helped you get started, especially when you are someone who needs help in finding product ideas to sell online. So, I have put together a short list of practical ways to find products to sell in your online store. Practical because these are free tools which hindi nyo na kailangan magbayad ng subscription unlike yung mga tools na nabanggit ko sa aking last video dahil may mga bayad po ang mga iyon. Okay, so here are the methods that you can use in your selection of products on what products to sell online and we will move on to the method number 2. Yung number 1 method, please go back to our previous video kung hindi nyo pa po napapanood. Ayan. So, our method number two, use Google Trends tool. Okay? So, looking for a niche idea is still always difficult. Mahirap po talaga. Um, especially at the very beginning, no? You are overwhelmed with questions, um, what niche to think of, what to concentrate on, what if yung chosen na niche or field go won't turn out to be as profitable and popular as expected. So I think it's just pretty normal no to to have those questions in mind um especially kung magsisimula ka pa lamang mag-launch ng inyong online store. So I highly recommend that you choose a niche again that suits your own interest and passion. So that's a nice place to start and of course that's a guarantee that you will treat this business patiently and professionally. So going back to our first uh, method, um, start from there and ask yourselves, is this a niche of my interests or is this a niche I am passionate about? Okay, so now let's talk about the Google Trends. Now, since, since we are all looking for a profitable product idea, gone are the days po na gaya-gaya lang tayo kung ano yung mabenta, no? Yung, alam nyo po yung logic na yung typical business idea po, no, na halimbawa si Kapitbahay ay eh, may sari-sari store and maraming bumibili, nakikita natin na na in demand siya, maraming bumibili sa sari-sari sari store niya and kahit sa probinsya kasi ganun eh, so kahit apat or limang bahay lang ang pagitan nyo sa sari-sari store na yun, eh magpatayo ka na rin ng sari-sari store mo. Okay? So, I hope na gets nyo po yung logic na yun. Pero, in e-commerce po, hindi po ganun. So, you need to base your niche upon some reliable and measurable criteria. Okay? So, creating a niche in your online store must be backed up by data. Okay? So, and one way to get those data is the usage of Google Trends tool. Ayan. So, are you all excited to learn how to use the Google Trend tool 
please do not forget to thumbs up this video as I will show you how. Also, may pa bonus po inyong mama betchay today. I will also share one product niche later where I earned six digits sa isang product niche lang. And this item I sold using the Lazada platform. So, ano pa yung hinihintay nyo? It thumbs up nyo na po ang video na ito. Okay, so what is Google Trends? Google Trends is a free tool. It's a wonderful instrument that gives you the necessary insight into getting the general public interest towards a particular product. So, dinesign po yung Google Trends to analyze yung mga search trends online. So, ito ay napaka-great tool to find your niche. Okay, so there are actually four things that um, you can gain from using the Google Trends tool. So, una, it shows how the search volume changes over time. Okay, number two, yung ano yung popular search term. And then, where are the people searching for this term live? Ayan, so makikita natin yan mamaya as I will show you uh, yung mga data and yung Google Trends mismo. And then, yung fourth is whether yung interest nung product na yon towards yung search query ay seasonal. Okay? So, as an example, in our previous videos, we have talked about the bed sheets and hair clipper no, as an example. So, we are going to continue using those niche na bumenta nitong pandemic. Ayan. So, kung bago ka lang sa akin channel and hindi mo yun ang panood, balikan nyo po. Um, I have mentioned there na um, it surprised almost everyone um, na despite of the pandemic that we are facing, eh, lumakas po yung benta ng bedsheets. So, maraming nagsulputang mga sellers ng bedsheets. And of course, yung hair clipper, no? yung hair clipper all-in-one, hair trimmer, hair cutter, dahil nagsarado nga po yung mga um, barbershop. So, nagkaroon din ng, ng um, increase ng demand ng hair clipper. So, gagamitin natin yung dalawang example na yan sa ating uh, tutorial na ito. So, let's pay attention to our screen. I will now be showing you how to use Google Trends tool in your product niche ideas. Okay, so as you can see on our screen right now, we are seeing um, Google Chrome as our browser. So, sa mga nanonood na sa atin today, by the way, I am using a desktop once again for our tutorial. So, I just opened Google Chrome and as you can see here on our screen or dito sa URL tab, um, just type trends.google.com. Again, trends.google.com. So, I will also share the link sa description ng ating video just so you can just easily access the link po. Pero, uh, just a reminder, you have to make sure na meron po tayong uh, Google or Gmail account. Okay? Because that's the only way for us to you, for us to have access sa Google Trends It's dapat may Gmail account ka po. Okay? So, this is the homepage looks like of Trends .google.com or yung Google Trend na gagamitin natin today sa ating tutorial. And if you notice dito sa top right ng ating screen, naka-default po siya kay United States. Right? So, United States. But since we are going to collect the data, we need the data uh, na applicable dito sa Philippines, applicable to Philippine Marketplace, then we have to choose Philippines, of course. So, all you need to do is click on this one and then select nyo lang po yung Philippines. So, pag keyboard kayo, type nyo lang yung P and then scroll down. Okay? Then select Philippines. Okay, there. So, nasa Philippine settings na tayo and meron tayo ditong bar. Ayan, search bar. So, dito natin itatype yung ating isa search na niche. So, since for our example, we would want um, to sell bed sheet and hair clippers. So, we will start with bed sheet. So, tatype, tatype nyo lang po dito yung bed sheet. Okay, and then enter. Ayan. So, this is 
what the analysis looks like. Ayan. So, nandito po yung mga uh, data mo sa bedsheet for the past 12 months. Ayan. So, yung Google Trend po ha, dandyan po yung uh, search result data. So, ayan. Ito yung nakikita nyo. So, number of search result yan for the past 12 months. Okay? And then, meron tayong dito yung interest by region. Ayan. So, sino-sino yung mga um, people who probably search for bedsheet sa area dito sa Philippines. And then, meron tayong related topics here on the left side and yung related queries. So, iisa-isahin natin yan maya-maya po lamang. But, the most important data that we would want to get is yung uh, dito na data. Yung search result data na nakikita nyo po, no? Ayan. So, para tayong uh, nakatingin din sa chart. Ayan. Nakikita nyo po yan. Ayan. May upward trend, may downward trend. Okay? So, whenever you are looking for a niche, dito sa sample natin na, na uh, bed sheet, Okay? You have to make sure that you change yung range ng data mo. Okay? Kasi naka-default niya is past 12 months. Okay? So, i-change natin to. I'm not sure kung nakikita nyo sa screen itong gumagalaw-galaw na cursor. But I hope na nakasunod po kayo sa ating tutorial. But this one, i-change natin siya from past 12 months to 2,004 percent. Okay? Or, lagyan na natin past 5 years na lamang po. Okay? Past 5 years na lang. Okay? Past 5 years para medyo bago-bago pa yung data na nakikita natin. So, when we select the past 5 years, as you can see, yung chart niya nagbago po. Ano? So, nagbago siya. So, yung past 5 years natin na data is from Feb 7, 2016 up to dito. January... Uh, 30, 2021. Okay? Are you still with me? Ayan. So, bakit kailangan natin i-change yung past 12 months to past 5 years? Okay? Doing so, of course, this will help you see clearly whether yung search volume ng niche na yun, um, sa ating example ng bedsheet na to, is increasing or declining. Okay, malinaw po ba? Ayan. So, makikita natin yung trend. Yung search volume ng mga tao sa internet. Kung increasing ba siya or declining. Okay? Also, on top of that, it will also allow you to see kung yung niche na yan ay seasonal trend ba siya. Okay? So, malinaw po ba? So, it also shows you to see seasonal trends in one clear shot. Okay? Itong past 5 years na to. Okay? So, for example, i-explain ko lang dito kasi um, especially those na medyo um, hindi pa familiar, no? Sa when it comes to, when it comes to data. Um, so, I will explain here kung ano yung data na binibigay sa atin ni bedsheet as our example niche for the past 5 years. Okay? So, kung nakikita nyo po dito, no, yung data natin, you can see, you can clearly see over the past several years or several months, lalo na dito, pagdating nung May 3, to 9, 2020, no? Ito yung kakapasok lang ng pandemic uh, ng, ng COVID-19, no? You can see quite clearly that over the past several months, there's been a skyrocketing growth ng bedsheet na data. Okay, nakita nyo po, ayan, di ba? Um, stable lang siya dito, and then bigla siya nag-increase pagka-June, And then, ang pinaka uh, top niya, no, is August 16. Ayan. So, i-hover nyo lang yung mouse dito to get the data. Ayan siya. So, you can see here what I'm doing. August. Ayan. And then, nag-dip siya ng October 2020. And then, bigla na naman siyang taas pagdating ng November 
15 to 21. Okay? And then, bumagsak siya naman ng December 13 to 19. And, tumaas ulit siya pagdating ng January 3 to 9, 2021, just this year. Okay? So, ano yung nakikita natin? Kung i- Ita translate natin yung chart na to o yung data na to, di ba? For the most part, yung search volume na mga tao sa bed sheet sa graph na to or for this niche is actually pretty stable. Okay, bakit ko po nasabi yan? Stable siya kasi as you can see, oh, wala naman pong deep decrease nung kanyang um, niche. Over the span of several years, itong 5 years natin na data, you'll see some um, slight dips or increases, ayan, which is normal. Okay? But for the most part, yung Google trend sa bed sheet, it's actually showing us that it is a pretty stable niche for the past 5 years. Okay? So, uh, Hindi ko na lang siguro, we are not going to discuss more on the technical side of of this chart. But in layman's term, you might be wondering kung ano yung mga dips na yan. Okay? And ano yung ibig sabihin na mga increase na yan. Okay? So... In layman's term, yung dip na yan, tsaka yung mga increase na yan, that only means or it's only showing you na during those dips and during those increase actually reflect yung mga seasonal trend nung searches. Okay? So, seasonal, for example, ha, pansinin nyo. Kasi nakikita ko dito, ha, um, based on my um, basa lang dito sa chart, nakita nyo yung increase na to. Okay? Ang data na yan September 2016. Right? So, increase siya, and then bumaba siya ng October, and then puntahan na naman natin yung next year. Pagdating ulit ng September, this time naman, 2017, mataas ulit siya. Okay? So, nakikita nyo po yung pattern. Um, and then, puntahan ulit natin yung what about 2018. Tingnan natin yung 2018. So, ayan. Bumaba lang siya ng konti. And then, 2019 ng September, eto. I'm hoping na malinaw because we're using a Zoom sharing na naman po today in our tutorial. So, nung 2019 September, kita nyo po, September 15 to 21, andyan na naman po yung increase nung kanyang uh, a sudden peak na naman ng kanyang um, data. So, it tells us that every September, okay, so ano yung what's in it for us, mga sellers? So, nakikita nyo rin dito sa Google Trend that etong mga season na to, seasonal siya, ganyan, that is actually something or strategy for you as a seller then to stock up on items. Kasi, during those season pala na mga September, yun yung time na nagsisearch yung mga tao for a bed sheet. So, nagigets nyo po, nagkakaroon siya ng demand. Okay? Ayan. And then, the rest, ayan, may mga slight dips na siya, bumabagsak na siya. But, overall, I can tell that the bed sheet is pretty much a stable niche. Okay, stable and then nagkaroon siya ng demand pagdating nung pandemic because most of the people are in lockdown and would want to sleep in a comfy uh, bed sheet, no? Ayan, so nagkaroon tayo ng demand pagdating nung uh, first quarter ng 2020. Okay? Ayan, so um, ano pa ba? So, yung mga mababa, itong mga dip na nakikita nyo, no? Okay? This doesn't mean na, for example, January. January uh, 2018. Ayan. So, itong data na to. January 2018 or tingnan natin yung January 2019. Hold on. Hanapin natin. 
Ayan, January 2019. Ayan, so may mga decline siya, no? May mga, yan, may mga mababa siya na data. So, may mga decline siya. So, ibig sabihin ba yan, eh, porket nag-decline na siya, eh, hindi mo papasukin yung season na yan to sell bed sheet. Okay? So, if we're going to read the data, it actually does not mean na you don't want to start Uh, selling bed sheets in your store ng January. It just means na yung season na yan, yung mga mababang season na yan, not just January, but ito yung mga mababa sa ating chart, only means na you are actually seeing a lower amount of website traffic at that time of the year. Okay? So, I hope malinaw po. Um, sana naintindihan nyo po yung pag-explain ko. I really tried my very best to explain it in a layman's term. Uh, so, that would actually give you idea on how to utilize itong Google Trend na tool. Okay? Now, dito naman tayo puntahan natin yung, kasi you may wonder ano nga ba tong mga um, related queries and yung mga related topics. Okay? Anyway, this is just self-explanatory. Pag pumunta ka naman, in scroll down mo to, under dito sa related topics, meron na siyang definition dyan. Okay? So, ano yung related topics? Ibig sabihin, eto yung mga um, users na nagsisearch na may kapareho na mga term mo or may related may relation dun sa topic na sinearch mo. So, in our case, nag-search tayo using bed sheets. Okay? And then, meron siyang top, top topic, and then, meron siyang rising. So, as a seller, ano nga ba yung makukuha natin na data dito sa related topics? Alright? So, of course, it may vary. So, depende sa um, niche na papasukin mo. For example, itong bed sheet, no? Okay, um, I'm so sorry for the noise kung may nakairinig kayong mga background na nagpupokpok, may naggumagawa po sa bahay, sa baba. So, pagpasensyahan nyo na po. But, ayan, so ano, what does it tell us? Tayong gumagamit ng Google Trends sa related topics. Okay, again, it may vary depending on the niche. But for bed sheet, no, nandyan yung mga related topics niya, yung mga sizes ng bed, dimension, um, And also, yung mas preferably pala ng mga nagsisearch or most of the users ng internet ay sinesearch na yung mga cotton fiber na, na bed sheet. Okay? Ayan. And then, related queries din. Dito to your right, bottom right, andyan. Mga Canadian bed sheet. So, yan po yung mga related queries niyan. And again, meron po siyang definition dito kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng related queries. Okay? So, people, users, are actually searching for Canadian type of bedsheet. Bakit? Kasi the Canadian bedsheet, I believe, mas mataas yung GSM niya, so mas comfy, mas mas cottony, mas masarap siya sa balat when, when using. Okay? And then, dito naman, um, these are just uh, the, the, the one that I tell you kanina, yung kung saan nga ba yung mga uh, users na nakatira yung volume ng nag-search sa bedsheet na niche. So, meron dyan sa Buanga Peninsula, Cagayan Valley, Central Luzon, Metro Manila, Ilocos Region. Okay? So, again, this data reflects tung past 5 years. Alright? Okay, so mahaba-haba na naman po yung ating part 2, no? Um, I believe itong part 2 natin aabutin to ng more than 30 minutes for just our for just discussing our second uh, method uh, in looking for products to sell online ayan so let's move on naman to our second example okay para mas maintindihan nyo okay so for second example natin is yung hair clipper no So, for hair clipper, okay, puntahan nyo lamang po dito sa search term. I-close nyo lamang yan. And then, i-type nyo yung hair clipper. Okay, then i-search nyo lang uli. And, nakikita nyo yung data. Again, we would still need to stick sa past 5 years pa din. Para makita na natin clearly yung search volume niya kung increasing or declining. 
Okay? Kasi that would also give you enough data for you para mag-gauge mo or makapag-decide ka if that niche na gusto mong pasukin is really profitable in the long run kapag nag-launch ka ng store. Okay? So, kung nakikita nyo dito, yung past 5 years natin, no, uh, medyo wala pong demand ang hair clipper ng 2016 to 2019. Right? However, nung pagdating ulit, nung pandemic, nakikita nyo po yung data na to, yung last data na to, ng March 1 to 7, 2020. Diba? Pagpasok ulit ng pandemic natin, you can see quite clearly that over the past several months ulit, pagpasok ng pandemic, ay nagkaroon naman ng skyrocketing growth ng users searching for hair clipper. Yeah, yeah. Nakita nyo po, ang taas-taas, no? So, nag, nag-peak po talaga siya. So, nakita nyo um, from March and then itong peak na to April. April 19 to 25, 2020. So, nagkaroon siya ng sudden peak. Nagkaroon siya ng sudden peak ng April and then ang pinakamataas na peak niya nakikita nyo dito is May to teka lang i-hover lang natin yung cursor May 3 to May 9 2020 okay so what does the hair clipper uh, niche tells us Well, for me, sa basa ko dito, no, um, although may sudden peak siya nitong pandemic, no, um, and then nag-slight dip na siya after mga itong July. Kita nyo, nung July, biglang bagsak, no, nag-peak siya ng March, March, no, and then pagdating ng July, nag-downward, nag-downward trend siya. So, This actually reflects that hair clipper can fall under um, parang fad category. So, it does not mean na dahil nag-peak siya ng ganong kataas, eh magkakapitalize ka na ng benta dito. Okay? So, this trend for me or this trending product, uh, hair clipper, would still need to be monitored for a while longer. Okay? Ayan. So, sana may natutunan kayo in comparison, no, from one niche to another, yung uh, product niche na bedsheet kanina na pinakita ko, and also itong hair clipper. Okay? Now, uh, wondering what a uh, fad, o kung yung mga uso looks like sa Google Trend, o kung di man uso yung sudden Uh, demand. Okay? So, I think it's a perfect example um, sa mga paid, mga paid uh, webinars. No, in example nila is yung fidget spinner, no? But I think since marami na nagbibigay ng example yan, dahil kasi obviously naman yung fidget spinner is fad naman talaga siya, no? But, um, in our tutorial today, let me Uh, cite an example itong um, face shield face shield okay so search natin si face shield ayan and si search natin uli and as you can see for the past 5 years na ating data you may want to check this data on face shield oh. nakita nyo halos zero zero yung kanyang searches from 2016 nakita nyo po yan flat lang po yung ating chart no flat lang yung ating chart. So, there were virtually zero searches for face shield nung taon na 2016, 2017, 2019. Ayan. And then, pagdating ng pandemic nitong, tingnan natin, ayun data. O, oh, March. March 22. And then, nagkaroon siya ng spike nung July to August 2020. So, yung product na face shield hit its peak nitong month na to. As I am showing to you guys, so sana malinaw, um, from July to August 1, and then nag-downward trend na siya, bumulusok na siya pababa, because nagkaroon na ng oversupply. Ayan. So, what is this data telling us? Now, 
napaka I think it's pretty much clear that there was really a drastic and sharp increase in attention for these for for these last two months dahil nga nagkaroon tayo ng pandemic. Okay? So, yung sharp decline naman niya, eto, di ba? From highest peak, tapos nagkaroon siya ng sharp decline, bumulusok na siya, pababa ng pababa. So, it's actually uh, the sharp decline following the peak is showing us that face shield is no longer a good business idea to consider starting. Okay? Ayan. So, ayan, napahaba na naman po. Nakita nyo po, if you are an uh, If you are watching yung ating isa nating video, yung pinakauna nating video na how to start selling online, di ba? May mga steps tayo doon. Um, looking for products to sell, target market, tapos we have um, how to look for supplier. So, we have covered for the past two videos yung how to find products to sell and yung target market. And I do hope that this tutorial today help you. So, hindi pa po tayo actually nagtatapos sa finding the products to sell. Because I'm, I'm going to show you another tool in our next video. Ayan. So, i-stop ko lamang yung ating uh, sharing. Hold on. So, ayan po ha. Um, sana nakuha nyo po yung um, idea. Um, and it I hope that it will guide you along the way while you are still looking for product niche that you're about to sell online. Okay, so i-stop ko na lamang po muna yung ating sharing. And let's move on to our other screen. And we are back sa ating screen. So that will be the end of our video for today. Um, 30 minutes and running na naman po yung ating video. So, I have to cut this um, para hindi po naman medyo boring yung ating tutorial. So, abangan nyo po. May part 3 pa rin po tayo. Ang ating paring topic po in our next video would be uh, practical and um, free tools or ways in looking for products or product idea to sell online. Ayan, so before we go, andito po yung aking promise na sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, may pa-bonus po ang inyong mama Betchay. I'm about to share to you yung product niche, nag-iisang product niche po um, that made me earn 6 digits in 2018. Ayan, so let's go to our screen. Um, let me just show you, ito po yung isa sa product niche. And by the way, since pa-bonus naman po ito, I want you as practice to access your Google Trend. And then, itype nyo po yung product niche na ito. So, you can see kung ano yung takbo ng product na to. Ayan. So, the product niche that made me earn 6 digits sa Lazada platform ay ito po. L1 R1 Game Controller or Trigger. So, as you can see on our screen, ito po yung product niche. Um, that that earned me that made me earned um, six digits noong 2018 and now puntahan nyo po yan sa Google Trends nyo so type nyo po um, trends.google.com and then iset nyo to Philippines and isearch nyo L1 R1 ayan so paano nyo nabasa yung ating chart sa L1 R1 if you notice dyan meron dyang pinaka highest peak Ayan, during the highest peak, dyan po kumita ang mama betchay nyo sa L1R1 na to. And just also to share, I'll be sharing you, ayan, ganyan po kadami yung ating in-import na L1R1. Um, we were able to, to sell yung version 1 and version 2. And then after that, inubos na lamang yung stocks, pinol out na. And of course, I have my reason kung bakit pinaubos ko na lamang yung stock. So, bisitahin nyo yung Google Trend and let me know kung ano yung outlook nyo dyan sa data na yan. So once again, this is your real Mama Bechay. I'll see you in my next tutorial. And you have a great week ahead. Bye!